Kevin. Oh, oops. Hello, Capricorns. It's Lulu, and welcome to your indie read here in Le Foyer. Yay. What information do you have here for my beautiful seagulls here in the foyer? Check it out. Check, check, check it out. Okay. Woman holding a coin. Yay. Angel of love, honey. All right. Man holding a coin. Ooh. Yin and yang. I like it. What's holding the most weight? Strategy. All right. What else? Indecision. What else? Broken heart. What else? Community. What else? Blossoming abundance. I like it. It looks good. It feels good. It must be right. All right. So here we are, beautiful Capricorns. All right. So there's something here that is bringing you and another person together. Or you're finding out what um, love is or good friendship or whatever this is that's connecting the two of you. Because it's really looking like that. And someone has a decision to make with um, this may be a third party situation. OK, because the way that this is looking, it just may be someone is realizing that they don't need. It's kind of like Lenny Williams. Right. Some men need or women. Some people need um, a lot of attention to for their posture to build this ego field. Right. So someone has to come to terms with that and make a decision on how they're going to do this, how they're going to work this out. Um, this could even be a family environment, maybe um, between the two of you. Someone may be. Uh, between the two of you, someone may have family and friends that don't approve of the other person. So they have to come up with a strategy, which is holding the most weight, a lot of thinking going on, a lot of planning. And then strategy um, is also connecting you and this person like this. OK. Let's see, what is this woman holding a coin? The page of cups. Someone may be reaching out to you, telling you sweet nothings. They've been anxiety filled. They've been trying to figure out what they need to do. They probably try to give you a gift or ask you to move in with them here. What is this page of cups? Nine of cups. How, um, how happy they are that you came into their life. What you mean to them. Possibly. All right. You'll know if this is you. OK. Um, or go to your other signs if this ain't your read. OK. Because whoever this is really does have. They're hoping that you answer the phone. They're hoping that you receive them well, what they're going to say to you. But I also feel like this is something that you wanted, but I don't know if you wanted it from this person, but we'll find out. What is this angel of love? King of Wands. This is a fire chemistry. Um, someone, it could even be, right? Um, that that's the third party. Right. Whether it's, you know, somebody's drive and ambition to succeed in life. And that's the third party, the, their work or their leadership capabilities and skills. But that could be an actual third party trying to redirect your attention, get you to love them, get you to feel something about them, getting you to see what they have to offer before you even, you know, connect with this other person the way that they want you to. The other person wants you to. What is this King of Wands and this Angel of Love for Capricorn? God. How many men y'all got? This may be someone who you've dealt with who um, just now wants to tell you how they feel. Out of all the things that you've been through with this person, they haven't showed you or told you how they feel with that King of Cups and that King of Wands. They may like to party a lot. They're used to, you know, flames or, you know, not really being in a relationship. What is this man holding a coin? The Seven of Wands. This may be someone who challenges you. Maybe I have different spiritual beliefs, but this may be someone who challenges you. Get you to look at things differently. They may have a different belief system than you. But overall, this may be someone that you have to stand up to that you may have blocked, blocked out of your energy, disconnected from. What is this seven of uh, wands? The knight of cups. And they're trying to figure out how to come behind this, you know, structure that you created. How do they get to you? They'd be trying some of the things that they did in the past because he is looking back. He's headed forward, but he's looking back. Back, back, forth, forth. Okay. 
but there needs to be some type of balance. Maybe deciding to really, maybe this person is your yin to the yin to your yang or vice versa. But this is a master number 22. Maybe something happened on the 22nd. Got to go back to the drawing board for the 21st. What is this yin and yang? Knight of Pentacles. Working out. Someone may work out a lot, work a lot. Take their time to bring balance to a situation. What is this Knight of Pentacles? The Ten of Swords. Betrayal, backstabbing, cycle ending. It's over. Two of Cups. Finding your balance after a relationship ended, possibly. And coming up with a way to, of how you can maneuver the situation with this other person. What is this strategy? King of Swords. Coming up with a plan. Being very logical about this. Not in your feelings. All right. Researching some information here about connections, horoscopes, times, astrology. Best direction. Best um, approach. Best situation. It's the best. Five of Swords. Some type of strategy to keep from arguing, fighting, breaking someone's heart. Page of Swords. Someone may have found out something and they want to argue about it. And you have to figure out how can you approach the situation because what they found ain't a lie. Someone may be spying, gossiping, slandering. Because the Page of Swords and the Five of Swords, God damn. That's like somebody just saying and doing anything, lying on papers, documentation. Somebody may have forged your name. And you find out about it and got a decision to make. What is this indecision? It's been one of those days, y'all. What is this indecision here for Capricorns? The seven of cups. You need clarity out of this confusion because you know whatever decision you make is not going to feel good, okay? Uh, maybe you got to drop some of your holes, right? But it's like you have a decision to make when it comes to the options that are available, choosing the path that is going that really fills you, and you can actually see the foundation of it and how it can work out. Eight of cups. You know you got to leave something behind. Leave somebody behind. Walk away from somebody. No longer be who you were. To get this increase in wealth and value. It's like you're valuing yourself more as well. Valuing your partner more. Somebody has decided not to be a player no more. Because I keep on hearing. Don't want to be a player no more. Okay. What is this uh, walking away from these um, distractions? Justice. Doing the right things for the right reason. Queen of Wands gossiping. Someone may be trying to tell you. That you're making a bad choice or you need more time to make this choice or what have you. Be careful. All right. Because once you start depending on what somebody telling you, you don't remember to use your own discernment. What is this broken heart? The four swords. Take time out to heal. Contemplate what you've been through. Um, who you've hurt, how you've hurt them. Who's hurt you and how they've hurt you. Four swords can be just, you know, taking time out to retreat. Take a goddess or a god break in order to get your mind back in space. Because that is in the right place. Because that is under yin and yang. A much needed break. The battle has been won, but the war hasn't. The war going to always go on. Let me see. What is this four swords? A bruised heart, a bruised ego, 10 of wands. It was just too much. All right? You realize that something was just too much. And you had to get away from it. You had to break away from it. Nine of 99. It's on like the two, that nine, nine into the 2000s. Nine of cups and the, and the nine of swords. All right? So it's like you got to face the truth, right? Somebody got to, someone has to face the truth. In the direction that they are going. And it can be like a tear in the bucket. Motherfuck it. What is this? Because um, what do you want? And it may be like causing you anxiety. Right? Because a change. Changing your life and changing your heart. And changing the way that you approach relationships. Can be heartbreaking to the egoic side of you. That really dependent. Right? The attachments. The entities. Whatever. That really dependent on you doing things a certain type of way. For them to be fed. King of Cups. Choosing love over sluts. What is this community called? Temperance and the high priestess. 
this also looks like that situation that occurs oftentimes when people let go of they they um favorite hope so what happens is they let go they have to let go of their favorite hope and they have to do it in a way that won't uh because they don't know how this person is going if this person going to be cool or come out of bag on them they really don't know and so what they have to do is approach the situation with caution do things in a way that um they're telling the truth, but not telling the whole truth or nothing but the truth because they may have told this person in the past that they were going to like, once I'm ready to settle down, you're going to be the one I settle down with. Line, 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 line. All right. What is this temperance? What is this uh, community called? What is happening here? Two of swords. You can't no longer, whoever this is can no longer not see what they need to see. Maybe they can't party with the same people no more, do some of the same things they used to do. Here with this, this group, but I think it's third party. Somebody just realized that. Mm, what is this decision? Yep. And in it. Maybe they have to do a whole speech about why they ending it and how they, you know, I don't know what they're doing. They may be moving or relocating a line and telling the person that they are relocating. That's the worst thing to do. What is this blossoming abundance here for Capricorns? King of Pentacles. Upgrade. Potter, let me upgrade your fix your neck tie the purple labels. All right. Doing what Capricorns do, climbing the social ladder, ten of cups and the four of wands, stability, security, um, being able to be creative in your own environment and feeling very um, comfortable. Plans working, going off without a hitch, working out happiness, an abundance of happiness, joy, love, satisfaction. All right. Some of you may be going on vacation or moving or going to a space where you are out in the woods. Sent them worth it to get rid of something, to go ahead and face your fears, face your truth and open up even more so because you got a lot of good stuff that is happening aside from breaking your own heart. They're going to queen of wands and that four of cups again. All right. So someone may be trying to whisper to you or tell you um, they may be trying to. So here's the thing. Whoever this is that is telling people that I'm moving, I just, I'm just, I just got to get my mind together. They, they don't want to just tell them, like, I'm not messing with you no more. Sometimes you only have to say that, right? You know, you got to give some people closure, but some people just already knew what it was. And if they don't know what it is and you've been um, straight up with them all that time, it's like, how do you not know what I was, where I was coming from? How do you not know that that, that is what that is, right? But the thing that I'm getting with this is that, Depending on the way that the person expresses themselves to this other person that they are leaving behind, leaving alone, the person is not going to give up. They're very adamant about, I can, um, why don't you do this? And, um, you know, texting them, calling them, trying to show up where they are, trying to make them figure things out, trying to get them drunk, high. Somebody may be trying to entice somebody to get high again. Let me see. What is this? Uh, blossoming abundance. The whispers are in the wind, ho. Ace of Pentacles. This person may be spreading rumors and gossiping or telling people about what you got going on. And you didn't even tell them the whole truth or whoever this is. Ace of Wands and a Page of Swords. Receiving communication about something that you are working on and it's going to be exciting. This is going to lift your vital force energy in order for you to get things done. Some of you may even be in a space where, you know, there are certain um, prayers, incantations, whatever this is. Incantations to me are really poetry. But they're saying you're saying or doing something here that is going to be very productive in the mental and the spiritual realm. What do you have here for um, Capricorns? Four of Swords. Don't forget to take time out to really retreat um, throughout your day so that you won't be overwhelmed by all the things that are happening around you and you won't fall victim to your own um, doings. What information do you have here for Capricorns? Nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon. So, yeah, you're going to have to really take time out to sit in this balanced energy because the thing is, people as well as spirits, right? They wait for you to have a weak weak point. They wait for you to break down while you may, I made this decision to do this, blah, 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 blah. I think Sagittarius has something uh, similar. And they wait. And it's like you, but only until you begin to take action, move forward. Um, you've done something for 90 days, right? You formed a new habit, a new way of life, and you had all you you checked everything, you got the strategy together, you're implementing it. You set it in stone. Hold your vision. 
fixed moon. Fix your uh, receptive energy. I only wanted to receive information that has to do with your highest good when it comes to how you are moving forward. All right. Fixed. Confidence is key to your success. New moon and Leo. Be very confident. Be very um, vigilant, uh, perseverant, resilient. All right. Conservative, maybe even. OK, whatever. A fiery climax approaches. All right. Things are going to really begin to heat up a time to give rather than take. You're very close to achieving your goals. So don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give in. OK, you can um, chill for show that when you can count a win. Hello. Goodbye.